What's going on everyone? We're going to take a technical analysis look, try to figure out how we could potentially profit day trading and swing trading Tesla going into the end of this week into next week. Today is currently October the 5th. Again, my name is D Anthony with evolutiontraders.com. If you guys would like to join the Discord, that link is down in the description box below. So I've been away for a little while now, been dealing with a personal loss uh, of a family member. Um, and you know, just kind of taking in the whole process, grieving process, trying to spend as much time with family as possible. With that being said, taking a look at Tesla down 10 points on the day, which is about 4%. So very, very big loss, but Tesla is having a little bit of a reversal. Right now, Tesla is in the middle of a bottom channel range. The bottom channel being 215, the middle, uh, the top of that channel being somewhere close to around 257. So obviously this is a big range. Uh, it's not saying that Tesla is going to 215. It doesn't mean that Tesla is going back up to 250 and beyond. What it means is that we're in the middle of a range. So trading Tesla uh, from a daily point of view could be a little bit more tricky and we have to use some smaller time frames to kind of get those levels and trade in between the lines versus trying to just catch the regular whole move. What I am looking at on Tesla right now, is we do have a bottom wick starting to form up. So buyers have found some support down at around a price of $233, okay? That does not mean that we're going below 233 and it does not mean that we're gonna be, you know, back up over 250 anytime soon. Here is how I personally would day trade, scalp, swing trade Tesla. If you are looking to play the bounce and you're looking to swing trade and you can afford and understand the risk that Tesla brings, because again, this is not a stock like Apple where it's going to trade one, two points in a day. Tesla can move five, 10, 15 points uh, on any given day. So what I would do is as long as Tesla is trading over $233, if you are already playing the bounce, I would continue to hold that and use $233 as your stop loss or as your break even exit, okay? Now, what we would be looking to target on this potential swing trade is gonna be a price of around $250. That's going to be the declining five-day moving average. Again, Tesla has been trading underneath the five-day moving average, which is the power trending moving average. It's been trading under it for uh, the past five days, okay? So Tesla has not reclaimed the five-day moving average since it lost it five days ago. So five trading sessions ago, we lost the five-day moving average we've kind of just gapped down and power trended all the way down ever since now we could be going into a little bit of a distribution cycle where things start to slow down ranges start to contract we give enough time for price action to kind of catch up to supply and demand what i would be looking for here if you're not currently in a long position on tesla i would just wait for tomorrow wait for tomorrow let it confirm uh today's high price of 246 dollars and 72 cents that would be your long entry and I would take call options on that and I would try to target a price of $252, okay? So from 246, 247, all the way up to around 250, 252, I would take those profits off the table. That would be the five-day moving average. If we do close over the five-day moving average, just keep in mind that we do have the next supply zone sitting at around 256. So that range could get a little bit choppy in there, maybe take one or two days to confirm. Now the bigger macro trade is gonna be over 256, 257. And from there, we have around 10 points worth of room into our next major supply zone. So from 256, 257, we would try to be targeting a price point of around 260 to $263. That is going to be the 100 day simple moving average on your chart if you want to take a look at that. So there's a reason why I have all of these supply and demand zones on my chart. We want to stay painting in between the lines, just like when you were a little kid in kindergarten, preschool, and you got those coloring books, maybe in class or, you know, maybe as a child, your, your parents gave you those coloring books and told you to stay inside the lines. Last thing we want to do is start guessing where price action is going and start painting all over the lines. We want to stay in between the lines. So going to the long side, we have room over 247 into 253. That's your long trade. If you're currently sitting long, I would hold until we break 233. If we do, we have to exit that trade, take our loss like a, an adult, and move on. Now, to the short side, below $233 is a short position. You want to take that 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 times, okay? Below 233, we've got a lot of room down. If we get into this price point of 252 and we get rejected between 252 and 256, you see that rejection? you see it wick below that and then the next day we confirm that low price you can take the rejection short meaning that you're going to take 
a short position off of 252 or 256 you're going to use 256 dollars as your stop loss in case it bounces and reverses to go higher that's your exit and as long as we stay below 256 you're going to ride that position down so as of now we are in a uh, dead cat bounce long okay with a price point of 252 okay now if you're waiting for a short position i would kind of wait and see if we take out 233 dollars there's no short position right now unless you're going to scalp a mini time frame like the two minute or the five minute chart but on a, on a bigger picture uh time frame chart you know there's not really a good short position being down 10 points today and we were down you know uh yesterday pretty significantly as well uh got rejected at the top of the range and then kind of came down now we do look like we are wicking off this so very very good just keep in mind um you know, we could be coming into an overall distribution period on the SPY and triple Qs as a whole. So right now is not the time where you want to go max size and a ton of risk on. You want to play the day to day price action uh, and you want to take profits a lot sooner. Doesn't mean that I'm telling anyone that I would get long here thinking that we're coming all the way back up to 267 275 we could over the next few weeks or we could get rejected and and come lower than the 233 right now i'm going to scale down on my sizing and if i am swinging it's because we've taken out a macro supply or macro demand on the daily chart but majority i'm going to look to day trade these and i'm going to look to get you know my 10 15 20 25 percent again guys it's not a lot of money sometimes when you look at it but depending on your position sizing you know if you're in a position for five ten fifteen twenty thousand dollars um you know ten percent on ten thousand dollars is not bad money uh fifteen percent on you know twelve thousand uh, dollars worth of options is not bad money so just again you know stay humble stay grounded uh don't try to oversize yourself don't try to over leverage yourself uh, play what you can afford to play again if you guys would like to trade with myself and the group make sure to join the discord again my name is d anthony please like comment and subscribe to uh my channel and this video also if you guys would like more information evolution traders is my website you can check out everything that i'm about and i will see you guys all on the next video